YouTube, how the hell are we? It's been three months, I think, and since my last video, and I pulled my finger out after having some time off for Christmas, and then proclaiming that I was gonna do more and more videos, but I never did, also. But it is what it is, we're here now. Um, I've had, since October, so October, November, December, January, so four months into off season, into this whole statement season, as I want to call it. The, the ethos behind that is, the next time I step on stage, I need to make a statement as a pro. So I'm basically giving this whole year my everything and all my uh, attention to detail. So the plan is to push up, we're 215 now. We're gonna push up to like 225. We're gonna hold that weight for a while and maintain that weight, solidify that weight and then probably push up, maybe, depends on my body composition, but we might mini cut it, or we might just hold the weight and push up again. We're gonna start, me and Cal have come to the agreement that we'll start prep in January. Currently my food, it's about 5,000 calories on training days, 4,500 on rest days. I'm basically training day on, day off, with the emphasis of bringing my back up. As you'll see through this session, we, we kind of pull the volume back on quads and other movements to allow me to progress them other lifts on the back days. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling very positive. Um, obviously, we've got a long way to go, but I know with Cal in my corner and my mindset where it's at, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great successful year and I'm looking forward to as well being able to put all my emphasis on my clients and their shows. It's a lot harder when you're prepping yourself to travel up and down the country and all over the world to be able to support my clients. So this year as well, it's gonna be a massive push to bring all my clients through regionals, through British uh, finals. We're looking to win British titles. I've had guys now who have been with me since 2020, 2019, and we've had this the plan for this whole time to be British champions, to be winning amateur Olympias and turning pro. So I'm very excited for that. The goal now is to document this process throughout the whole thing to show you the good, the good days, the bad days, the ugly days, the horrendous facials as I train, and some hopefully comical moments, but yeah, it's leg day today. In with Jade, she's got a little bit of a different session. Vinny's behind the camera, capturing it all, and let's get it, it's gonna be a good one. Leg day. Currently, anyone who, like for me, these are the worst, the, the foot, absolutely foot converse, but I have to wear these converse for legs. I don't know if anyone else is the same. I can't wear brand spanking new trainers. It's got to be bedded in. They've got to have done some fucking graft. So I'm just going to put these on, start warming up on the adductor, and take you for a good session. So we're gonna start an adductor. I like to start with adductor first because it just brings everything else into place. Um, obviously it's a good, good to warm up on, gets all the stabilizing muscles for, ready for like the squat motion, ready for the leg curls. And um, I find as well, a lot of people when they're competing, they, they miss out on the adductor from the back and from the front shots. It gives a lot more depth to your legs rather than just being the quad and the hamstring. So it's a really good thing to start with. Let's go. well another point on adductors I never go below 10 reps and um, again just because of safety if you pull your groin you're absolutely fucked so for this I'll probably go to like 15 reps and then a 20 rep set so off the load a little bit more but really thinking about the contraction and about uh, a pause in the stretch and a pause in the fully shortened position yep pull yourself in tight Nice, control, squeeze, perfect. Pause, squeeze, come on. And again, let's go. Perfect. And again, come on. Yes, again. Again, how many? That's nine. And again, there's two there, there's two. There's one. Yes, nice. Set. 82. Yep. Yep, let's go. Oh. Uh. 
stay with me. In. Come on. In. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Okay, come on. Again. Come on. In. 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 Oh, fall on it, Come on. Come on. Yes. In, come on. Yes. Okay, come on. That's the one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Drop that. Woo. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Come on. Get him. Right. Yes. Right. Let's up, let's up. Let me struggle, let me struggle. Mm. Right. Again. Yep. Right. Yep. Oh, thank you. Two sets in, I'm fucked. So obviously we've started on adductors. We did two sets there. 115 reps, 120 reps, higher sets. Here we've got two sets as well on the lion hamstring curl. The main focus for this is where you'll see how QJ is to keep your hips flat. Yeah, finish it. To keep your hips flat and to really not bring your to lower back or your glutes into play. Um, you want to be obviously keeping everything in line and then don't think about bringing your heels to your arse. Thinking about literally contracting your glutes every single rep. I'll show you as a cure. So see how she stays flat and then tenses the glutes on the way down and then squeezes the hamstrings. A lot of, what you'll see is a lot of people will lift their arse up to make sure they get the reps. But you want to keep this flat on this pad. It's almost like driving your hips into the pad in every single rep, like you would on a mandatory pose or like you would if you were trying to get a little bit deeper and you ran out of dick. Again, as we warm up, what we'll do is we'll do six repetitions, increase the weight, four repetitions, increase the weight, two repetitions, because we don't want to tax ourselves from any energy storage. We just want to obviously neurologically get ready for the working sets and allow us to feel that weight um, and then obviously get set to actually do the working set. You don't want to be doing 10 reps every single time and by the time you get to your working set, you've done accumulated 60 reps and you're fatigued from that. You want to just feel the weight get the central nervous system to switch on for that and then you do your working set all day baby light work all fucking day come on yes Tiny touch more. Yeah. Right. Up, 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 up. Again. Up, up, up. Again. Right. Yeah. Right. Up. Oh. Fucking hell. Can't remember off the top of my head. That's sick, isn't it? You know, with all the pictures. It's cool as fuck to like, I always say that you should have them. Sick. How can you not fucking train legs hard when you've got Tom Platts there with fucking, isn't it? Think you're doing well and then you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, so my normal set's on the uh, 
the hammer strength uh, leg extension next to us. So what I'll do is I'll use the Atlantis just to warm up and then jump into the heavy stuff on the uh, hammer strength just because I know the numbers for it. The Atlantis is okay. Feels a little bit of a hydraulic -y. It's a bit weird. It's not a constant movement. Um, I much prefer the hammer strength one. Oh, it's lovely. Summer bods are made in winter. Summer bods are made in winter. Summer bods are made in winter. Okay, so what you'll see on a leg extension is you want to again, you want to be locked in tight to this machine so there's no inertia, so there's no lifting up. A tip that I use is you lift, uh, what I'll do in a minute, my lifting straps that I'll use my back. I'll wrap them around these handles and pull myself in so tight for my working set so that my, my glutes and my, my bottom and my half all stays fixed into this seat and then I'll pull in as hard as I can and do the, the reps to get the muscle fully short. Yeah, so that was meant to be my 6 to 9, but it ended up at 14. I've got to try and go a bit heavier. I think there's... Woo! Hello. Five key there. Every two and a half fit, sit on it. Not my penis. Not my penis. Oh, you might see me going a little bit weird pre before I do my set. I believe visualization is massive. You have to put yourself in that zone, you have to switch off from everything else and you have to look at why you're here, what you it's not, a, for me it's not a leg, set of leg extensions, it's bigger than that, it's progress, it's pro show wins, it's Olympia, it's my career, so that's what I switch on, why I'm doing it, what I'm here for and that's when you'll hear me say focus or show them or all in, because it's reminding myself why we're actually here, bigger than just a set of leg extensions. We've got one opportunity today to make progress, and that's what that's about. Easy. Easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Come on. Uh. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Come on. Again. Mm. Nice. Let's go. Mm. Come on. Squeeze. Mm. Okay, so obviously me and Ryan are training together, but our splits do vary a little bit. So I'm doing some more hamstring movements because today I've got different movements in than him. So we've already done adductors, which is covered in my hamstring training. We've done lying leg curls, which obviously is a curling movement. And now we need to do a hinge movement. For all of my hamstring sessions, I like to cover an adductor movement, a hinge, and a leg curl. So we're gonna go on to RDLs now. What is that? Okay, so this is my fourth exercise for hamstrings. Now on all of the previous movements, I've done my warm-up sets. When it comes to this exercise and I get a little bit lazy, I don't tend to warm up. My muscles are already pretty warm, so I like to go in straight away with my working set. Especially as well, I have to really watch my form because it can transition onto my lower back. So I like to go straight in, get my working sets done, go in with a heavy set and then a back off set.
Oh my god. Ooh. That was my heaviest set. I was supposed to go in at 75 kilos, but we couldn't find the five kg, the five kg plate, so up to 10 on either side. Hit 8k for 70, for seven, sorry. So yeah, happy with that one. That sound. Ooh. Sexual. Right. Ooh, no help. Got it. More. Just, I don't even have like a, a rep range, I just go and go and go until I fail. Um, you have to tap into some weird shit and just know that you can push it harder than you pushed it last week and the week before and so on. So it takes time to build that up though. So, you know that confidence within training, it comes with training experience just to get another one and another one. But there's always one more. Oh, oh come on. Tap in your fucking slag. Let's go. All day this shit for you. Come on. One thing you'll learn as well, or I won't have to learn over time is, even though I probably had about 30 in there then, sometimes you've got to take take the win, take 20 to 25, and then cut the cut the set because we done an all-out failure set on the first round. If I keep doing that week on week on week, I'll last about four weeks, five weeks max, and I'll have to take a deload. So pushing it, taking the little small win next week, make it a bit heavier, take the small win. It's about accumulating. 
continuing, continually accumulating progressive sessions over months and months and months, rather than just one all out great session and have a knock on effect to my next session. Oh. Another thing on uh, rest periods, especially big body parts like legs, just rest until you're recovered. Again, the main focus within these sessions is progression. So if you need two minutes to regain, regain you obviously your breath and, and recover, you need two minutes. It's no point jumping in early and doing sub max sets because you wanna be more gassed, you know, like you'll feel more gassed in, in your lungs and, and more hyperventilating rather than actually muscle fatigue. So that's what I've learned over time over training with many different people is just to take your time and recuperate before your actual sessions because all that matters is progressing that numbers up. This is, um, I've never used this pendulum before, so I will just see. Again, it's just pushing it to that limit, log it, go again. Oh. Just won't do it. Prick. Let's have a look. I'd be like, fuck off. Enjoy the next 30 minutes of running with I need anger management. Let's see what it is. Right here. Right, spot me on this. Spot me on it. Let's go. Ooh. Oh fucking day. Right. Let's go then. One more. Hey. Let's go. Come on. Go. Yes. Again. Come on. All day. Again. Yes. Come on. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Fuck off. Because when you get to rep two, you're like, oh, fuck. Then rep six, you're like, I've got this. And then you just literally bail. Oh, you need to set. Yeah, I'll go, you. Just going for a nervous poo. I think. Girls don't poo, by the way. It's facts. Yeah, it's heavy, that. Oh, yeah. Would you like, innit? Have you got Spotify? Hey? Have you got Spotify? You don't have my phone? I don't know where my phone is. It's on, uh, what's here? I don't even know where I am. Yeah, J babe. Jade. Come on in. Nice. Stop that bounce, don't bounce. There. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, again. Yes, again. Two. One. And again, and again. Oh, one more. One more, one more. Control. Set. Right, next. Hip thrust. Is it upstairs? Start the session so positively and so energetic, and now I just feel 
disabled. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, it's like we were saying, bro. It's like it's one of my biggest driving forces now. Isn't really proving anyone wrong. It used to be. I used to have a bee in my bonnet about they say I weren't going to turn pro. Or I wasn't going to do this, that, and the other. They can't really say fuck all now. And so what I use now is that, and the motivation is to show and be an example to other people like yourself who want to turn pro and come from the same small town that I do, that you can achieve it. And then, and then they can come to me and say, I want to be X, Y, and Z. And I can be. Um, a focal point and say yes you can do it because I've done it I'm only normal I'm just a fucking average person I just work really hard and if you're willing to do X Y and Z you can get there and it's not me saying that off nothing it's me actually doing it and pursuing it and seeing it through and hopefully people can draw inspiration from that that's my driving force for this now Back. So this machine, why I like to use this seat machine, I stole this from Joe Bennett, hypertrophy coach. If you don't know who he is, get to know, because he's a very, very good um, trainer. That's the word. Um, what it is, is there's no inertia in it, so back support is always going to be better. You can get a full stretch and a full squeeze without any movement of the hip. So it allows us to load it up real pretty heavy and still keep strict form. Then we'll move on to standing calf raise and I'll show you a technique of, it's just an upset so you just go in 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps and then a down set, it's about 100 reps set just to put loads of fucking blood into the calves. But yeah, should hurt, should be fun. The thing that goes in my head there is, if this was a set of squats, you'd do a fucking other, so treat it like a set of squats. Whew. We'll do one more in there. Right. Right. Right, one more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, if you try this, You'll probably unfollow me, you'll probably hate me, but it'll be beneficial because you'll have great carbs. So we're going to go 10 reps on 5, 10 reps on 6, 10 reps on 7, 10 reps on 8, and then back 10, 10, 10, 10. It's horrible, it hurts, but it works. Another side note on this, sorry, is watch for bringing your hips back. A lot of people think they're getting a stretch, but they're actually just moving the hips back. So keep your, your glutes tight, your core tight, and uh, make sure you're stretching your carbs Come on, get there. Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. On that set, it's just pump as much blood as we can into the muscle. So even if you have to finish on partial reps, just keep eking out as much as you can on the set. 
The first set that we did is perfect form. This is just to blow your calves up. Now I can't walk. Session done.